Good morning, everyone. Welcome to 2022 Incarnation Daily Devotion. I'm Pastor CJ, and hopefully this devotion may lead you to listen to the Word of God this morning and let your heart be focused on God every day. August 13th, Saturday, Hebrews chapter 11, verses 39 and 40. Yet all these, though they were commanded for their faith, did not receive what was promised, since God had provided something better so that they would not, apart from us, be made perfect. Amen. The writer of Hebrews looks all the way back to Abel and then forward to the days just preceding John the Baptist. This whole time was an era of unfulfilled or incompletely fulfilled promise. God's covenant through Abraham was that Abraham would be a great nation and that all the peoples of the earth would be blessed through him. God's promise through Moses was that God would show God's glory through Israel to the nations. God's covenant with David was to establish David's throne perfectly and forever. Finally, the new covenant spoken by the prophet Jeremiah, was to overcome national exile and forever press a holy identity onto the people's hearts. These promises were made yet unfulfilled for multiple generations. While the writer commends the faith of these generations, we know from the record that they did not always wait perfectly. Abraham jumped the gun with Hagar, and Moses lost his call on Mount Sinai. Jeremiah wished he had never been born, and Jonah ran from his mission. These important ancestors in our faith often stumbled toward the promise. Despite all the imperfections of faith, God planned something better, a better promise, hope, covenant, and sacrifice. Christ is the fulfillment of all this. He has secured the completion or perfection of hope for all those who wait in faith. This is God's better plan. We have the benefit of seeing in retrospect this great legacy of faith and God's faithful keeping of the covenants with Abraham, Moses, David, and the prophets. Now we join them, waiting in hope for the ultimate consummation. Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ will come again. Let's pray. Holy God, we humbly join those who await your final consummation in Jesus Christ. We, too, are impatient with your plan at times. Help us trust you and live today with hope. Amen. Thank you for joining this morning, and I hope to meet you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.